boozles. She never sits in there. Oh, never. <laughs> Yo, welcome to another weekly video. I've got the bag, we're about ready to go to York. We're literally just about to set off. Yeah! So it's sort of a travel day, I suppose. Is this a travel day weekly vlog? Well? Yeah. It is now. Let's Come on, go. Man, I've got the poo bags, we've just got to take these last couple of bits to the van. Oh, we have debarked on travel day. Oh, it's oh, it's warm, I've it? got a right sweater. And yeah, we're here. We've just literally just parked up. I'm just going to put the awning up. It's called Beechwood, just out of York. Like, um, Lady gave us a business card, a taxi service that runs like for a tenner to York and back. We take dogs as well. Yeah, which is useful. So if we wanted to go to a pub, even if you wanted to go to tonight, we could even for 20 quid, we could go to tonight and have some food. A couple of pints. There's loads of dog friendly pubs in York, so I remember. Um, yeah, so we're going to get the awning up. Get loads settled. Of room. Look. Yeah, I mean, in fairness, because we, we, we've got the van, like, I guess if you've got a caravan, bigger awnings, maybe, maybe this is a camper van pitch, maybe it's a bit thinner than the others, but. Loads of the shower box behind us as well. And we've got a little power thing just down here, so, all set. Just gotta put some stuff in it. Right, let's get the tent up. Yeah. Yo, look, look at this. Look. Got a bed. Mummy's got a bed. We're up to sleep the other way around this time. Last time we slept head bottom end, but we're not sure if he's right or not. We'll see how we go. There's like a big hole in between the chairs, but I think it'll be better to have my head on there, and I've got more room for my legs. Well, I was going to say the only problem with that is when Mia wants to jump on her head, she's going to fall down a hole. But I'll teach her. So right, right. <laughs> sure. Yeah, we've got a little port of just in case we need wee in the morning. This we're is. Put the I'm going to sort this out in a minute. Yeah, because look. The, this was the I bought before we came, and then this was what we bought at the Asda when we stopped. And this is like my bag, and this is some bags, oh, and this is the TV. Disney haul, my Disney haul uh, from Asda's. Yeah, we'll do. Uh, go on then, real quick. Have a quick flip. So it's a Corella dress. These are all half price. They're all half price, aren't they? Yeah. Corella dress. That's just a Japanese, Japanese t-shirt. Anime sort of t-shirt. A Minnie Mouse one. Oh. oh. And. <laughs> Yeah, the t-shirts were four pound. And then another dress. dress. Yeah, and then I got the Mickey bag. Oh yeah, bags over here. So like a little backpack. That would be quite good for you tomorrow actually. I don't know what bag you've got, yeah, but if you're doing the dungeons and everything, just put your purse and your phone in. That's what I thought. Um, and then there's some stationary bits as well, slight little notepads and yeah. stationary sets and stuff. Beep. Yeah, they seem to be having like a Disney range changer to um, Asda, didn't they? Yeah. So. Right, gonna chill out, gonna have some beers, sort out of this mess a little bit. Yeah. We'll catch up with you in a bit. I think we're gonna have to take away. I need to sync with some of the electrics. I'd love the TV to run, but they don't bloody work. Dale's wiring. I've got some of the wrong way around, or something's not quite connected, so I'm gonna go and have a quick look, I think. Yeah. I might have drink Come first. It's hot. Look at Mimi. Mimi camping. Oh. Yo, it's like proper dark. Gonna pick up a takeaway. I read his waist, so I'll catch up with you in a second. Oh, it's not gonna show one here, blooming my neck. Oh, I can see the I can see the little bunny, so I gotta pick up on the camera. There's a little bunny there. Oh, it's so cute. So small. So we are just walking outside, this is super bright. Like me. This is Halloween prep, but this is. <laughs> Um, we, we're just on the way down to uh, pick up a takeaway, but because this place has like a shared postcode with another campsite, a farm, a stud farm, like five other buildings, we've got to walk down and meet them. And there's um, sheep in that field. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff down there, it looks quite cool, they've got like fake foxes and stuff around as well, I guess to keep foxes from eating the sheep, but it looks quite cool when you drive up. We'll see if Sydney tomorrow we're out and about. But. I'm turning this light off and stop blinding myself when I'm seeing me head. This is where we're just gonna like stand around next to the red gate. Here's where we are. This is not the Beachwood Grange Caravan Club site. The whole of that. <laughs> That's what we told the takeaway driver. There's a duck. There's a little duck. <laughs> oh, do you reckon that's like a geo, geo cache thing? It doesn't say anything. No, it's just a duck. It's just a duck. So yeah, now, now, now I'm just going to stand in this random end of the street with a takeaway driver. Good times. Oh, we're back in the tent. Oh, look, and we're sitting next to each other because here's the takeaway. We're going to watch. And we've got Netflix on the iPad. Bell. Oh, yeah. 
That was bright. <laughs> Ooh, good morning from the campsite. I mean, it's not moved, she's been there like 24 hours now. Ah! <laughs> yeah, this morning we've had a breakfast and we've done everything. I think we're just going to put Manesa's lead on, take her a walk. It's really, really warm. It's really warm under this. Like I, I just I'm sweating just sat here. The van's quite cool. It's got the blinds shut or the windows open. And outside's quite nice because there's a nice breeze. And in here, it's just a little humid trap. So we're going to take me a bit of a walk before we go out. Um, just yeah. grumbling at everything. Just grumbling at everything. She don't like dogs or random noises. You can't see what the noise associates with. <laughs> She's so nosy. She's like... <laughs> right. We'll catch you in a bit. We're going to see what we see. Go for a walk. Our head's making use of the facilities. <laughs> <laughs> she can't get out though, so we're going to leave her there. See you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, some picnic tables and stuff too. <laughs> got and you got it out, <laughs> crikey. Are they proper like dog anchors or has someone just left a thing here on the table? Because if that's the thing, that's a well good idea. Okay. Like look a little strap to, to put your dog on. Come in, we're this one, we're exploring. Worst idea ever. It was. <laughs> yes, wounded. So we, we, we successfully did nothing. We walked all the way around the outside of the campsite, got stung by nettles and thistles. <laughs> I think me stood in one, she's limping, she's dead, look, she's got nothing stuck here, didn't they? Never mind. Tomorrow we'll go a bit further, we'll go for a proper walk, I guess, tomorrow. Just wanted to make sure she's been to the toilet and stuff, we'll go out for a bit. Did she go? She was, yeah. 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 Oh, need it's your, oh, it's a cake and sandwich thing, that's why I was busy. Uh, Cake's out. No, oh, the shambles. Go on, I'm following you, my dog. Because you're like a child. <laughs> nice. Harry Trotter. This is taking me down all these little corridors. You've not been here, have you? I've been here for ages. It used to be CX or so something. This, this is the market, like. Shambles market. There's a lot of people around here. And then the up here. This one. Valhalla. Oh, nice. If it's open. It's the first pit stop is going to be Valhalla. Actually, this should be open now. It's a cool game is CX, yo. That was nice. Oh, I think that's the last thing we're going into. Yeah, do it. Maybe Survivor Series, you have one. Merch. Nice. Yeah, we need to go in here, babes. What? Right, the old shambles tavern. Ghost I like this shop. This shop sells gin out the window. <laughs> That's pretty good, to be fair. Nine and three quarters, Shambles York. Do you remember ten years ago when we first came here? There was not a... This building here was like um, a haunted house. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, remember. I remember, yeah. It was this one here, I think. And it was like you went and did like it in the dark tour. Oh, and this is the one with the plaque outside, isn't it? Like there's a... Yeah, we never did it. And now I don't know what it's... It's a shrine lock. Oh, is it? Can you just yeah. go in there? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I can see why you might have been right. Like then they've turned into a proper shrine because these are all like pews with proper kneeling, praying things. And... Look, these are place your offering. Don't use a match; they're electrical. So see. How do you turn the bod? Oh, you push the bod, maybe. I'm failing at life. Oh, look at that. Mm. That's cool. Missed that for half an hour. Oh, it tells you she's in the picture. 
She's number 17. She's the one who's um, shown it, so I can't see that on the camera. So what is she? Uh, it tells you on the plaque outside. Oh. Oh, oh. We're down here. So we, we're going to go in the, the Golden Fleece. Like, we're going to the Golden Fleece. It says York Gin. I don't know that looks like. It says history in the tasting. So if it's a bar, we'll go to the gym one. And if not, we're going to be in the Golden Fleece. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not telling you open till because the chilled tins sound good for taking back to the camp with this. It's true, yeah. I'm not sure about like a whole bottle for 40 quid. Oh, look, babes. It's the dungeons. Babes. Babes. Oh, you want to the shoes? Have a look afterwards because we've got time slots. <laughs> Mickey t shirts. So we're off to go do the dungeons. I'll put you in the video. Yo, yo. Is that the dungeons? I mean, I'm still guilty by the judge. <laughs> just this time. It was just the, uh, where are you from? Nottingham. Guilty! <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's good. Look, I like that dungeons actually. It's, it's good. We've done it in ages. A yeah, a couple of rooms have changed. Um, there's no bar there anymore either, which is a bit good thing because we're going to sit and have a drink. But it was always quite a small one anyway, I suppose. I just want a picture, I want to say. I feel like this is one of the places that I really wanted to come and I never knew it existed because until I ran came. Yeah. You mean anything that says beer hall? It's about. This is funny because I was going to have this and then I saw it comes in Imperial so I got the 9.5% one instead. We've got Shopee X Parrot. X Parrot. And they do food which smells like katsu curry so all this place smells like a bow buns. Yes I am. There's the other to do. I can imagine this gets really busy. Fried chicken as well. Free range Korean fried wings and strips. Nice. Yes. Yeah, I think we'll have some food. Let's have a drink, we'll have some food and then we'll have another drink. They do ramen too. No. Yeah. <laughs> well, round two, Ariane smashes some Katie Berry. Looks nice. Very red. I've got thicker flat pack fuel. It's got pecans in it apparently. Pecan Imperial Stout, y'all. I love pecans, so I'll be judging that. Oh, and the food arrives. So we've got Amazing to see. Katsu loaded fries, a couple of bow buns, chicken strips, and a katsu curry, yo. That looks a bit better than Epcot's katsu curry, right? <laughs> no, it's good. It was it's like we're on holiday in Florida, we've just come out and it's like so warm and humid. And, oh, good place though, good beers. We're going to go give, pop by a little shop and we're going to go back. Get um, shop, get yeah, a couple of shops on the way back, get some sandwiches for if we're hungry later and stuff. And go back to being at ease because it's about four o'clock, half past four. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a long road for a while. Yo, yo. And yeah, we're strolling back up. What's the last thing you've done? Campsite Alley. A bit of Brew York, I think. Maybe a bit outside, I don't really know. We, we basically we came out of Brew York. Got a charity We've shop been up. to. Got a colouring book. Yeah, so we went to co op, pick up some sandwiches for if we're hungry later. Um, we went to a charity shop and the works while we're waiting for um, the taxi. So we've got a book to read, a book to colour. You got crosswords. I got a cool word search with a little ro rabbit body out the front. <laughs> um, yeah, and then we just got a taxi back. Um, so not nice morning in York, to be honest. Like the dungeons was good. Yeah, the acting was really good in there today. It, it, yeah, I mean it's always. I think York's always one of the better ones, to be honest. I don't think I've ever been to a bad one, but York's always quite nice. Um, did a good job. Um, quite a big party as well. Actually, I thought there'd be like six of us walking around. I thought York could be quite quiet today, and there was loads of people. No, we still a party around. of about 15, 16 people, something like that. It's a good size for two o'clock in the afternoon. Of me looking like a child. I did. I said to her earlier, she looks like a child with a Corella dress on, this tiny little backpack, and then she had like a space buds on. It don't really help, even now you've put your hair down. Like you still look like a child. <laughs> so you know, took a picture. I'm John Cena's sister. <laughs> John Cena's sister. A toddler wrestler. He looks like a toddler. So we're going to go back to see me and A's. Oh, chill out. Take this bag off. Take my shoes off. Yeah. Chill out. Watch the end of the film we started watching yesterday. It's a good idea, right? I'm really thirsty. Nothing's quenching my thirst. Oh, sorry there. Uh, <laughs> good morning, happy campers. Look at these. Just on my crossword book. Word search book. Found it. Terrible. You finished it yet? No. 
rubbish. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six left. She's either. been doing like four hours this morning. I have not. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, so we're getting up to the shopping centre today. Um, the, the one, uh, I don't think we shared this, it's a couple of miles up the road. Um, there's a massive shopping centre called Monk's Cross. In terms of Primark, Sports Direct, Hobbycraft, TK Maxx, like that kind of stuff. Let's go for a look around. We're going to get back into York again, but then it's a bit of a trek. It's quite expensive to have a few drinks there, so then we're going to look around some shops and just going to come chill out, have a day like. Go a crossword, read a book, have some beers, put some music on. Um, Sounds good. Yeah, do just like A lot of people are left today, it's quite empty. Yeah, it is. I mean, look at this. There was people here or next to it, like this one next to us. There was one next to this motel at the back as well. There's one opposite here, they've gone. But yeah, look at it, it's beautiful morning. It's beautiful. Why would you not stay here an extra day? Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. I, I'll bring the camera along to the shops. I don't know what we'll film there, to be honest, because it's like TK Maxx and Sports Drake. There's nothing really exciting. We might show some of the Halloween stuff in TK Maxx if they've got some. Um, yeah, let's see, let's see what we get up to, really. It's chilling. Found it. Three left. It's fine, so I like the big school cookie jar. Very nice dish. She's got the tea cup of this little. Yeah, I do, yeah. And chopping boards. Oh, I want salt and pepper in this. That is cool. I mean, it would look so cute in this. If it's three pounds, we'll buy it. Eight pounds. Oh, 12 .99. Oh, I like these rugs. I don't know where I put it in the house. The front, it's, got, it's feathers. You don't like feather cushion. Nobody likes feather cushions. What sound do you use? Eyeballs. Creep it real. Um, it's like a cookie cutter uh, cooling tray set, that's cool. Christmas crackers. Oh wow! Halloween stuff is so cool in here. Right. It's the closest to the spatulas. You get, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a little bit random. Yum yum shoes, things, noise. God, what's up? I'm telling you, I'm finding find what films are. Um, They're looking at Bibby in the dark. We've got Calibra, which is two lifelong friends on a hunting trip in Scotland find their nerves and their morals ruthlessly tested after a harrowing turn of events. Right. The Vanished, when their daughter disappears during a family vacation, two terrified parents launch their own investigation that soon exposes local secrets. Doors. Um, fear of rain, a girl living with early onset schizophrenia must discern what is real and what is not when she suspects that her neighbour has kidnapped a child. And Black Island, the dark secrets of a seemingly peaceful island threaten to swallow up an orphan student when he grows close to a mysterious new Ooh. teacher. I think I think that last one, Black Island, sounds like the winner. Yeah? Yeah, I reckon that the first one. We'll find out, we'll let you know. I just want to show you the, the campfire in the dark. Look, we just zipped up. <laughs> it's nice. Can't see anything because the lights there. This <laughs> is the thing. Right, sit back. Yo! We're home. Look, our hands back on the sofa. <laughs> uh, it's, it's Friday, it's Friday lunchtime. Spent up yesterday playing Car Mechanic Simulator that we got from the uh, game. That was exciting. Yes, you did. Yeah, I did. I was playing Pokemon Snap because that's what she got from game. Ordered Warrior. Yeah, we've got Warrior Way coming as well. That should be here tomorrow. They've, they've packed it today. Already? Yeah. Well, today's its day of release, so they pack it today. Hopefully, it's coming DPD, so hopefully, delivered tomorrow. Hermes, sorry, not DPD. So they might Next deliver. day, Hermes. Yeah, and I think they do Saturdays, don't they? Um, yes, yeah, so we're just off for a bit of a mutual Costco, um, a bit of a drive out. We were going to get some stuff for our booking tonight, but actually they've cancelled because they've got some of the COVID in the house. So now we're not, but we're going to go anyway. We're going to get some lunch, um, decide you know what what cakes we're going to buy because <laughs> it's not that we're not going to. It will be cookies. It will be brownies. Be the brownies were good. Maybe some cakes. Like who knows? Probably a big bowl of salad because we said that we need to actually eat some food that we've cooked this week. 
Yeah, I might if we get we'll a cooked chicken and salad, then I can have leftovers for dinner when you go out tonight. Yeah, yeah, because I'm off out to the pub tonight. A week off, yo. It's like the last day of my week off, really, because we're working tomorrow Sunday. Not right. that Sunday. Let's go. Let's sort the menace out and then get out of here. Oh, duck crackers, yo. They're nice, aren't they? Yeah, they're pretty cool. With like some music. They're not actually nutcrackers though, are they? are statues. Yeah, they're just statues with lights and music. Yeah. We're like brewery advent calendars. There's all the beers. What you get? Is it 24? They, they must be, they can't be big too. Oh, mind you, it's a bigger pack than you know. Yeah. Oh, there's a whole list up here. Come to these. Four, 57 pound with the AT. It's not bad. It's like two pound a can or something, isn't it? I guess. Yeah, it's I mean, I want these. Yeah. It's like uh, 100 quid. Which is nice. These are really cool, y'all. Yeah. They are. What they? Yeah. I don't know, USB sticks, something like that. Hello, Piggy one. Noise. They're 30 quid. It's £25 for the other random ones. <laughs> See, we get what I'm feeling these. The donut mites, they look delicious. Here's the pumpkin I saw last time. Still 30 quid. Oh, instant saving. Uh, Until the 13th of the night. 30. What? I don't understand that. Whatever. We've got the cookies in the end today, and some salad, and some lasagna, and some sushi under there for Ariane too. Bless her. Hello. Yo. I was just going to round up this week's video. It's Sunday night and we're off out. I think we, we're going to see something exciting that we might get to video, and I figured out by actually with a week in York, we can drop that into a separate. We'll drop that in next week's video. I'm out for a carvery. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I've got that. Uh, Fabrice spray in yeah. the bag. <laughs> um, yeah, we're out for a carvery for the second in two weeks. Woo! <laughs> um, we, we're going to see Victoria because we haven't seen her for ages. So we said we'll pick her up, we'll take her out for dinner, and she got to pick. So that's what we're doing. Um, she's going to have to come over next weekend because we've got a massive wedding to do. We're just going to need, need an extra pair of hands, I think. But we'll tell her about that later. She can earn herself 20 quid or something. 300 odd people. Yeah, 273. So it's a lot of people anyway. So yeah, we were off out. Thanks for watching this week. We had a great time in York. Yeah. It was nice to have a week off and chill out for a little bit. Nice to get out of the camper and make use of it as well. Um, so yeah, that, that's all, all good stuff really. It's just some stuff to fix with things, but yeah. It is what it is. Ongoing project. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye.